Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love costumes and Halloween as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank and maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating Daria. Now, if you don't remember who Daria was, Daria was kind of a demure goth chick character from the hit animated Mike Judge series, Beavis and Butthead. People liked her so much that she became her own series called Daria. This is an amazing costume for those of you who need a last minute idea or those of you who don't particularly like wearing costumes, you think they're uncomfortable, they're hot, whatever the reason, this is a great idea for you, something you can throw together likely with stuff you have at home and everybody's gonna love it. Let's get started. Here's Daria. Not much to it. You've got your black pleated skirt. I have a kind of a mustard top. It could be orange, mustard, you know, just some kind of warm color like that. Um, you can use, I chose to use this sort of army green jacket rather than a blazer. I've seen it done both ways. I actually think if they did a live depiction of Daria, she'd be wearing more of an army jacket than a blazer. So I'm choosing to use this to do my own kind of version of Daria. And then I of course have the glasses. All this stuff was super cheap. This is another costume that if you don't like wearing costumes, you just want to do something comfortable, or you've been invited to a last minute party, something like that. This is one of the ones that I talk about on my channel that you can do very easily, and it will be so cute and everybody will love it. Dario is kind of like the demure rock girl, the real smart cookie, you know, at the high school where Beavis and Butthead went, and very sarcastic and just a really cool character. And her girlfriend, Jane, also was really cool. And uh, I've seen people do Daria and Jane, and it looks so freaking good. So if you like a cute costume that's comfortable, this one's going to be for you. There's not much makeup. I think I'm going to do something with the glasses, though, here. So let's get started on that. I thought I would try doing this for her eyes because her eyes are just basically a line and a little dot and I wanted it to kind of look like that but I took a piece of material cut it into a circle from this scarf that I had it's an old scarf that I bought at the thrift store and it's kind of flesh tone and see-through and I'm just gonna draw that little line with the dot on it and hot glue it into the eye of the glasses and see if that looks cool. You may wonder why we're here because I don't really wear makeup. I have self-esteem. That's my Daria impersonation. <laughs> no, but anyway, we're just gonna do a couple things with our face to make us a little more Daria-esque, a little more cartoony. I've got a concealer pencil. I'm just gonna Conceal my lips. Now, if this is something you're gonna wanna maintain through the night, just take it with you in your purse. I, for Daria, I'd carry a backpack, like a, like a school backpack as a purse. That would be more true to character. Just over one shoulder like she does. I'm going in with a Sharpie. You can use a black pencil. I told you I use Sharpies sometimes. I'm gonna use a Sharpie. If I were going out, I'd use a Sharpie because I would want my makeup to stay on all night long. There's other things you can do to help with that. Your Final Seal by Ben Nye or your Barrier Spray by Mayron. And I'm just gonna outline my lips. It's a permanent marker, but it doesn't stay on forever. It'll come off with soap and water. <laughs> Just like pretty much anything else, so. There's our lips, and then with our nose, we're just gonna go. Just 
just like that. And that's our Daria makeup. Let's go get dressed. Is this where I'm supposed to care about taking photos? Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you love today's look. Again, this is an easy one. You probably have all this stuff already in your closet. So if you get called to a last minute party, cosplay, Halloween event, whatever it may be, it's something easy and comfortable to wear. And it's also very inexpensive. If you have to go and pick up all these items, I got all this from the thrift store. So it's easy to find, it's cheap, it's comfortable. It checks all the boxes for a great and easy costume. That does it for today's episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video, and I'll see you next time.